Hey guys, still have an added on the trailer. I got some more work done to it. And uh, did a little walk around and kind of show you what we got going on. Most of it just uh, continuing on with the front. I think the uh, last video I showed the uh, this piece, uh, the hole where this piece is, was getting cut out with the plasma cutter. Uh, since then I've replaced that with another piece of uh, uh, 2x4 uh, steel. And welded that all in. And um, then I took the uh, advice of a couple of the guys that are using the um, rust converter, which is, I believe, phosphoric acid and uh, a couple of other things, but it just uh, converts it over time to like a black primable surface. And as you can see, it's kicking. Uh, my problem is the weather is not exactly agreeing with me. It's supposed to be 50 degrees or above, and of course, it's going down below freezing every night. Uh, That's ice. So, uh, yeah, so that's what's uh, making it uh, take some time to kick. Uh, I'm pretty much done as far as um, the bottom side is concerned. Once it can get paint on it, then it can flip it up and over. This is where, what I ended up finding was um, rust cutter. The only people that had it. Home Depot didn't have anything uh, besides 12-ounce uh, spray, spray bombs. Uh, I went to Tractor Supply. They had this. The spray bottle was like 19 bucks, and then the gallon jug was like 49. I know I got ripped off, but um, sometimes uh, you spend so much time looking around for stuff that it's just better to grab it and move ahead. So that's what was sprayed over. Uh, I used that one spray bottle. I haven't used the gallon jug yet, but I used the one spray bottle for doing the bottom side of it, and I still have to flip it over and do the other side and the fenders and all. Uh, went to my scrap pile and I forgot I had this you know you get to that point where you have so much crap that you forget that you have stuff but it was covered up out back this is an old half of an old ramp uh, about 32 inches wide and it was dangerous as hell one being absolutely ridiculously heavy and the other is um, the pivot point was down here with the other half of the ramp and this right here would get you every time so it gave up its life to turn into the front of the trailer um, again you're looking at it upside down so this area all up in here is going to be just an area to kind of throw like um, your chains your your tire binders that kind of stuff that um, uh, you keep at the trailer all the time so uh, I wanted some area that didn't hold water but you could still throw stuff up in there and then also came up with a mount for uh, the spare tire underneath and uh, just welded a big ass bolt onto it and then I got to get like a uh, some kind of you know dished plate drill a hole through it and that'll be my retainer for the tire yeah pop that off of there so um, that's what we got for a setup on there the nut what I'll end up doing is just welding a bolt and welding a bolt make like a big T, T nut out of it to hold it down I'll leave a lock washer on it too to keep tension on it uh, la la la, what else? So that was cut out and, and installed on there. These beams, uh, this was an I beam, it's like a three by two I beam, it was whatever that length was. I just cut it in half on an angle and made it so the taper sat backwards and did a bunch of uh, like stitch welds down the side of it just to help. Anything that I lost in the frame here, I kind of wanted to, to bridge that and give it a little bit more strength. This is probably stronger than that whole beam by itself just because of uh, fairly heavy too. Because uh, of what they are and how they're constructed. So that scabs over that area where it might be a little iffy. And uh, give some more beef to the trailer. What else? Let's oh, there's the other half of the ramp. That piece down there is uh, again it's like 32 wide by 40 ish 40 something 42 whatever and uh, it's the exact width of the space I have between uh, the two rails I have a sheet of uh, diamond plate steel diamond plate that's four by eight and I could actually slice it into three pieces and that will give me 12 feet of length which is the distance from um, including here covering that box right up all the way up to the point where the the beaver tail kind of drops down here and kicks it back so it'll it'll make it right to there and then that section of uh, 
expanded metal with the frame around it will fit right in there so that'll make me uh, have a whole complete deck but yet there'll be expanded metal on the back side of it because uh if you're driving like say a garden tractor or something like that you're trying to get it up onto it um it has a lot of good tooth to it you know it's very easy to have traction on this stuff you know plus it's just how it worked out <laughs> space wise uh this all happened this trailer was designed where that square that's in there that was a storage box for the chains and all and it had a lid uh, yeah, again it's upside down so this was all welded in and then it had a lid on the other side that you would flip up and then you can close it and put a lock on it that's what caused all that damage in the first place is that it would just you know water would just go in there and sit in there it had no place to go and finally it just took out the bottom of all that frame so uh, to remedy that it's gonna have sheet metal just capping it right off and uh, making this the section where I store all that stuff. Yeah. Flip it upside down. Found the hide key. To what it's hiding from, I don't know. Because uh, <laughs> there hasn't been a lock on this thing in forever. And that's it. Hopefully you uh, get this thing to kind of dry up a little bit and shoot some paint on it and uh, get it flipped over and uh, start getting it reassembled. Actually, I should back up a little bit. I want to paint it, get the cure up a little bit, and then I'm going to run all the wiring while it's upside down just to make life a lot easier too. And then um, flip it over. Clean up the other side, paint the other side. Uh, weld the plates on the bottom side, and then paint the other side. And then I'm done. And get the hell out of my garage. And uh problem with doing this is now that I have the capacity to uh, drag more shit home. <laughs> you know how that works. Alright guys, I'm going to stop yapping and uh, close this one up and uh, get back to getting. Take care.